Right. Hello, Internet. Um, let's see. Just uh, making sure things are working. If you are watching on YouTube or Twitch, if you could say in the comments whether you can hear us or not, that would be great. Um, I've got some fairly complicated. Um, cool. Hi, Gamma Reese. Um, right, so if you're watching and you want to join us, you can go to this URL, which I am just making. Currently, it's white on white background, which isn't really helping. But I just need to switch off the transform. If I put it down there, maybe you can read it. But if you go to is.gd slash tidal club, you should be able to join us in this chat. Um, okay. I'm still not completely sure whether this is working or not. <laughs> oh, it says offline. Ah, okay. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, I'm not offline, but YouTube says offline. Oh, no. Okay. Again. Right. How many people we got in the chat? Um, nine people. So if anyone else wants to join us, go to is.gd slash title club. Got the whole <laughs> okay. So let's chat. <laughs> Quite a lot of video Good. conferencing today already. So um, I'm not completely sure how to speak anymore. Um, no, good. <laughs> We're all very shy. Um, okay, so let's start by saying who we are and where we're from. Um, there's like a text chat for people who don't want to use microphones or show themselves, that's fine. Um, I'm Alex, I'm here in Sheffield, UK. Um, who else is here? Got Kit here from Dallas, Texas. Thanks everybody for um, all of their tech support over the last couple of weeks. And uh, Gamma Rays, thank you for the awesome design. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, no mic, sorry, so it's okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful, that design. And um, yeah, thanks for also sharing the tool you used to make it. Um, I was unsure whether it was uh, a handmade font or um, a, a ready-made font, um, and it turns out it's somewhere in between, I think. <laughs> kind of uh, ready-made shapes that are constructed through quite a unique web tool. Um, yeah, vector graphics thing, beautiful thing. Yeah, handmade, it says. <laughs> um, so, who else is here? Hey, uh, it's Lannis, I guess, or Lanzac on the forum. Uh, I'm Zach. I'm in New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, Central Time. Excited for today. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm, it's good that you don't know how to pronounce your own name as well. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, um, uh, okay, Gamma is from Porto, designer by day, live coder by night since joining Tidal Club. Yes, yeah, exciting that there's, this Tidal Club has been really fun. A, um, uh, yeah, we've just been um, uh, sharing videos for learning Tidal and lots of people, have, I'm excited to see what people's error and glitches and problems and just enjoy sharing sounds. Um, uh, yeah, good to see Iris in the chat as well, who is a um, veteran stream 
uh, event runner um, and set up the forums for helping people out. So there's one on Telegram and one on the top lap forum. So if you have problems, glitches getting going, then um, uh, drop in there and, and we'll help you out. Um, so what else do we talk about? Um, I don't know, it seems such an amazing opportunity to have like 15 people come together. Um, I feel like we should be having a profound moment where we're doing some um, connecting our s across barriers and walls and uh, but, um, I can't really think of much to say, I don't know. <laughs> ah, so Gamma is sharing the um, uh, thing that is all the images for um, the flyer and stuff. Um, I hope this is still streaming. Okay, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, we seem to be live. Um, we might be glitching a bit. Uh, it looks like I might not be sending enough video according to YouTube, but hopefully it's okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's talk about t-shirts. Um, TH4 is there from Leon. Good to see you. Um, Admiral Belly Button, which is a great name, is um, saying, can't wait to make my t-shirt. Yeah, so graphics. Um, I've always sort of looked at people's festival t-shirts. Okay, this is exciting. Let's see. One, two. One, two. You are now muted. Okay. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. Let me try and share my webcam. Um, I can't hear anyone. Um, I'm muted. Ah, okay. Muted. You are now now unmuted. Am I still muted? You are now muted. You are now unmuted. Um, well, I hope everyone's enjoying this 20 minutes of me being really confused. Okay. I think maybe I was muted in the chat, video chat, but I wasn't muted on YouTube. Um, All right, has anyone got any questions? I was trying to talk about t-shirts, about um, how we could just have the design and print them locally, or maybe set something up with one of those like spread shirt websites where you can get them printed um, when off. Um, that might be easier. Personally, I'd like to print a nice poster as well. Um, I feel like the only problem with the, the print on demand t qualities for you. Yeah, I find they look fairly faded to start with, and then after a few washes, they just get worse and worse. Something else, or is that what to the chat? Um, so Zach, I think it would be good to try and get it running on Facebook. Um, I can, I find that keeping it running on Facebook is a bit of a problem. 
Yeah, I'll try and do that in between performances, switch over to stream to Facebook as well. Um, yeah, everyone's kind of, <laughs> at least the text chat is working. Um, all right. Okay, people have unfrozen. I think my internet must be just coming and going. Um, yeah, what else can we talk about? Um, got an amazing line up ahead of us. Um, there are, last time I looked, uh, there were a couple of slots freeing up. So there's three... Um, from 8 a.m. UTC, there's like three slots which are now available. Um, if you find that you have problems streaming during your slot, then what we've done on previous streams is have a kind of after party of errors where we just continue um, at the end of the stream, just keep going for those who are awake. And those who haven't managed to stream, just uh, have another go at the end. Um, but if there is an empty slot, um, feel free to take it if you glitch out. Um, okay. Um, yeah, Iris says it's nice to see a lot of new Tidal users playing for the first time. Um, yeah, this is super exciting to hear what you've been doing. Um, Sometimes people are a bit strict about what they define as live coding, um, but um, live coding is whatever you want it to be. Um, it's nice to try and reject hierarchical rules on a community, and if you want to come uh, with a blank screen and work from scratch or just run some pre-prepared code and maybe tweak it a bit, um, while playing drums on top, or if you just want to um, uh, do something really pushing the boundaries of what you could define as live coding, that's all very welcome. Um, everything is good. Uh, yeah, I hope this has been nice to focus our minds on. Um, to work towards something it was nice to prepare although personally I've had no time to prepare for this so I'm going to do something which is going to be quite improvised um, so uh, we have um, yeah I accidentally started too early I'm almost sure about that um, so we've got 13 minutes left um yeah gamma Ray says they're um curious how many people are doing their first gig today um so if anyone's got an answer to that that'd be good iris has actually got a plan to email everyone with a little interview um and that is one of the questions i think um so uh watch out for that after the stream and it'd be nice to capture people's thoughts about how it went um, so yeah hmm Okay, <laughs> we're getting people saying that improvised is the best. I think that we should embrace everything. Um, I think it's really nice to have a mixture. Like if you have um, some people improvising, if I'm picking on an event, I like to really mix things up. Maybe put the more improvised stuff on first and then towards the end have more prepared stuff, which is when... Um, things might get a bit more banging in the event. 
Um, yeah, it's nice to shape an event sometimes so you have different approaches at different times. Um, but at something like this, I think, um, I don't think we should go for improvisation or supremacy. I think we should just embrace all approaches. Um, make and break things live. I mean, it is nice to um, uh, embrace error. I'm reading from the chat on YouTube, by the way. Um, and to not worry about getting things wrong um, and to embrace being surprised by your own code. But um, I think it's also nice to uh, support other approaches. <laughs> The problem is I'm just not a typer, so I mean I, I struggle with uh, not wanting other people to hear dead air for ten minutes while I try to figure out you know where the asterisk button is. Yeah, I think um, being able to type fast is kind of the um, is the equivalent of um, being a virtuoso. <laughs> it's kind of funny really something so sort of um banal as typing speed um is uh yeah in for improvisation it's actually quite important um but then just tweaking stuff just make changing a number can completely change um what a tidal pattern is doing i suppose so if you have a framework of stuff you're working with then Typing speed isn't necessarily um, important, depending on your approach. But I think there are tools for helping you learn how to type better. <laughs> I was very lucky to have typing lessons in lunch break at school, and that's probably been, yeah, yeah, big up Mavis Beacon. Um, oh, yeah, the Mozilla Hub thing. Uh, that's something that Melitzin... Uh, CDN, CNDSD has set up um, just yesterday, so um, it's not linked in from the main website yet, I don't think, from the moon.tidalcycles.org. Um, but you can find it through the club announcement uh, on the Tidal Club. Um, that's something that just runs in the browser. You don't need to have one of the headsets. Um, I'm not going to try and load it now on my laptop. It's already struggling with the streaming. But um, yeah, we we should all go in there afterwards and uh, enjoy each other's avatars. Um, yes. Okay, so Kapazi is backtracking a bit, saying, oh, of course, Tadakoro and Mike have been doing some of the most beautiful prepared sets for years. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we should uh, respect all approaches, I think. Um, yes, so Admiral Bellybutton is going to be doing um, a set based on commenting and uncommenting code. Um, looking forward to that. Um, what happened to the slow coding manifesto? This is from Old Boss Ruruba and ha Hall were talking about it years ago, but I haven't heard anything new about it. Um, there's a reason for that, um, is that uh, it's very slow. There's actually a slow coding section on chat.toplap.org. Um, but it's a very slow discussion. Like people will just, someone will say something once every um, few months. <laughs> I'll just share the URL if I can find it. It's slow coding. My computer's being very slow. Yeah, so on chat.toplap.org slash channel slash slow coding, um, the last post in there was in May the 31st, 2019, Innocent Times. Um, uh, oh, hang on. Uh, let me think. So, no, I'm okay. I just thought I might be overrunning my time. I think I'm okay. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, still getting confused about code. 
But yeah, if you look up the slow coding manifesto, that'll probably find it. Uh, Tom Hall and Julian Rorubas um, thing. Um, and I think this is something really nice to think about. Um, kind of, it's sort of bring live coding is um, can be a bit sort of uh, about spectacle, and the slow coding manifesto is trying to bring it back into being uh, something more like slow food. Um, Uh, okay, at a slow code event, the audience will not feel the need to look at coders' screens no more than or no more than every five minutes. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Okay, so we've got six more minutes until the first performance, which is from... If anyone else wants to speak, I'll be very, very happy to not be going on. Yeah, the first is from Jos Jessica Rodriguez, who is currently in Hamilton, um, Ontario, uh, but I think originally from Mexico. Um, How's everyone's day been so far? It's the morning in uh, the central U.S. time zone, so I woke up and got on the stream, basically. Zach, is it pretty hot down there right now? Yeah, for sure. Nice, uh, we, we got a pretty nice little cool wave come through Dallas. It was 105 on Sunday. Yeah, it's four o'clock in the UK. So I've already had lots of video conferences, lost my wallet, found it again. Um, feeling pretty good about finding it. Uh, so I picked it up and handed yeah. it in. So in the Big Blue Button uh, chat, a lot of people are talking about live algorithms. I guess I've never been the one, have most people here in the some of them or? I was lucky enough to go to uh, the uh, the first um, algorithm in San Francisco, I guess, last year. It was really amazing. Um, a lot of folks came all over. Um, that was a lot of fun. Nice. Nice. I seem to have lost my webcam. Oh, well. Um, yeah, it's funny when people talk about our graves because, um, yeah, I've never really got my head around the fact that they're happening everywhere. Um, are there not many? Oh. Well, I, I guess the thing is that, um, it, I, kind of came up with the word Algrave with me and my friend Nick and we kind of thought it was a bit of a joke um, but now they're happening all over the place it's just <laughs> it's hard to kind of really uh, get a sense that they're actually a thing that people do but then also I think they are a bit different everywhere like everyone has a different take on them and organises right. them in different ways has different kind of music going on where they are so it kind of it's sort of an idea that is quite flexible. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling. It's just a strange one. <laughs> yeah, sure. it's nice to hear that you've been having our grave events over there. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd be interested in regional differences because, like, where I am in the States, I don't, <laughs> I don't think anyone, or I don't know anyone even in my city who's using code like this. You know, most people are still kind of just. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but still kind of just you working in DAWs or using like uh, controllers or whatever. So I'd be interested to see how it manifests in different places, you know. Yeah, I feel like 
live coding sort of there's a lot of people doing it but really spread out um and right. there'd be like a couple of people in each city um then across the country it kind of adds up to a little community um, right for sure yeah um so the, there's probably about because we've run lots of workshops there's probably about 10 live coders in sheffield um which is a good number um, <laughs> And quite a lot yeah, it seems like a lot of the uh, like algorithmic electronic music that have came from the north of England. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, that's kind of what we like to try and give the impression of. I don't know how true that is. There's people like um, Mark Fell who've been doing things for years and events like Love Bites, which promoted this kind of thing, and Walk Records. Um, but then a lot of stuff also happens in London, Manchester, Birmingham. So... Um, and these places are all quite close together because UK is quite small. So, um, yeah, big up uh, algorithmic Yorkshire. Um, right. So we're actually on getting into Jessica's time. So I don't want to take any time away from her performance, but it's a bit of a shame because we just started to get some discussion going. <laughs> but maybe we'll... everybody. <laughs> yeah. So really good to see you. Thanks for. Um, being here and looking forward to all your performances. Um, over to Jessica. Uh, yeah, I'll switch off my stream.